I think we're nearly ready to go. We'll just wait till all the important people are in the room. But actually, the important people are in the room. We'll just wait for a few more people to come through and we'll make a start. I do believe it's 2pm uh, and we do start very sharply at 2. <clears throat> Is there any... Yeah, I'm just waiting for my fellow auctioneer, but he will be coming in in a minute, I'm sure. Good afternoon, everybody and welcome to the Harcourts Four Seasons Auction Rooms here at the Rustley Golf Club. We are joined today by our business owners. It's nice to see some managers here in the room uh, from throughout the Harcourts Four Seasons offices and a warm welcome also to Harcourts Vision who also join us here today with their auctions. I'm Linda warren Davy, along with Mark McGoldrick. Um, it's an absolute pleasure to be here auctioning this fine selection of properties. I just want to take this opportunity opportunity, acknowledge and thank our sellers for their choice of Harcourt's Four Seasons for this very important transaction. Behind your lead marketing agent is a substantial team with plenty of resources consisting of specialists in residential, lifestyle and commercial property. It's an absolute pleasure to have you as our client and we wish you a very successful outcome. A big thank you to our team and our agents that are all working behind the scenes. Uh, our team here, they're responsible for all the documentation and support information and of course also uh, our live stream technology. So a very warm welcome to our viewers. Today is an exclusive opportunity for cash and unconditional buyers here in the rooms. You are being offered first rights and we wish you all the very best with your bidding strategies and I do know that we do also have some, uh, some buyers that will also be on the telephone today. We're just going to take the time to have a look through the terms and conditions under which our auctions are conducted. Our auctions are held in line with the conduct of auction that's provided by the Real Estate Institute of New Zealand, very clearly shown in the auction documentation. Again, I'm just confirming that all bidding here today is on a cash and unconditional basis. If there are any aside agreements, they do remain in place with the successful bidder. Now, Mark and I, we were entrusted with confidential reserve prices from our sellers. When that reserve price has been met, exceeded, or under further instructions, the highest bid that is accepted by Mark and I will be the successful purchaser. We solve any disputes by just simply reverting to the last undisputed bid. Now we can nominate the sum by which the bidding can be raised just as we can refuse a bid if we deem it's not in the best interest of our sellers or of the auction. Now as per clause 2.5, the auctioneers, Mark and I, we have that authority to make a bid on behalf of our sellers. It's always well less than that reserve price and sometimes we do it just to offer a pathway or a guide. Line. We also do our best to acknowledge any agents who are bidding or acting on behalf of their clients. Now clause 2.6 states that the vendors can withdraw the property at any time before it's been sold and of course without disclosing that confidential reserve price. This is where it's essential that you do remain uh, in front with the lead bid because if we don't meet the reserve here on the floor, the person that holds the highest bid, they have that opportunity to have an exclusive negotiation with either Mark or I. And sometimes uh, an, an amount is agreed to, the property is sold out of the rooms and it's not brought back in here. If you are successful this afternoon on the fall of the hammer, you're going to have a couple of obligations to evidence the sale. The first one, of course, will be to sign that memorandum of contract, and that's when you're also acknowledging receipt of the guide booklet. Secondly, you'll be paying that 10% deposit, one-tenth of the purchase price, and if there is any further documentation, your lead agent will, uh, will guide you through that process. So without further ado, nice to see a nice busy rooms here. We're just going to go straight through to our first property 
uh, of, uh, of the session. Big welcome to the rooms, Victoria Thompson, and also to your clients. Always a pleasure working alongside you, Victoria. And, uh, and thank you to our clients also for having their property so superbly presented. I'll go straight to the legal description of 56 Ashworth Bush Road, where the parcel of land is an estate in freehold, comprising 9.571 hectares, more or less, being lot 6, deposited plan 79051, as recorded on the instrument of title, CB 45B 968, in the Canterbury Land Registry. A superb list of chattels, vacant possession being offered on the settlement date of the 17th of April, 24. Of course, unless agreed otherwise in any aside agreements. No, there aren't. Okay. And look, we're just going to go straight and have a look at, hopefully a final look, at this superb family-sized home. Situated in one of the blue-chip areas of Sefton, with many neighbouring quality homes and rural views that absolutely take your breath away. There is no doubt the property will suit the active, the busy family that requires a maintenance-free home, open plan, a kitchen, dining, living spaces that all encourage those family connections and social interaction, along with the added bonus of a separate lounge just offering versatility for any occasion. The floor plan, it's functional. The features and benefits of this property are varied, but I love the added touches here and there, particularly that little wine storage, the solar panels, luxurious and quality soft furnishings throughout. You've got that potential to subdivide, you've got sheds, you've got outbuildings. It's the sort of property where relaxing and entertaining has been very well thought of. I love all that outside extensive decking and the seating areas surrounding the home. Plenty of well-established trees, shelter, plants, and not to mention that orchard and olive grove. It's an absolute opportunity, and I'm inviting bids now um, because who is here to bid for the keys? Auctions open. 1.1. Welcome in. We have Mike Brown working on behalf of his client at 1.1 million. Any offers over and above 1.1? A nice starting point, maybe another $50,000. But at the moment, the lead bid out in front with Mike is 1.1. I'll just give you a little bit of time for any of those that do have bidders on the phone. As I said, the lead bid is 1.1. All quiet. 1.1. Any other interest over 1.1? We're going first, second, third and final time. And there's no other bidding. I think Mike will just pause the auction and we'll just go straight and, um, and out and just have a little bit of a chat. Thanks so much. I think I might invite Mark. Are you going to come up or yep. we'll just see? Okay.
tweak the order just in the interest of your time. Afternoon, my name's Mark and uh, great to be auctioning today. I'm auctioning at the Harcourt's Vision team today with Cheryl Wright. Of course, she's uh, always uh, bringing her auctions forward to the auction room. Cheryl, loved to be working with you and your good owners. I've had a, a good stay here at Ebony Street, number 31, a well-balanced family home, really nice and tidy. It was good to see around the area. I was there, we, we just met after school yesterday, kids riding around on bikes, having a bit of fun. So it's a, it's a quality neighbourhood and a lovely home to boot. It sits on a freehold estate too, 627 square metres. Legals and chattels are the same. The settlement date struck down for the 17th of May, unless you've agreed a different date, of course. Always lovely to see a home that's been well cared for, well looked after. Oodles are living in this one, really is a feature of the home. Two big lounges, uh, one for the morning and one for the afternoon as well all bound together by that awesome modern kitchen breakfast bar. I think that's the catch-up area for the family as well. Great backyard, of course, north facing on, on that right side of the street is a pearler. You've seen the high-pitched ceilings here with the outdoor area, gets a lot of, lot of use and the absolute last bit of the afternoon sun. Great garaging and the extra parking at the front. Uh, like I say, fit for families, an excellent area close to those amenities and an ebony street, it's an absolute beauty. OK, we'll keep things moving. Who's going to start us in the bidding? See if we can get these good people moving on. Opening bid here at Ebony Street. Tinkle the Ivories. Uh, 600. 600, there's Danny Lou from the Harcourts team. He's bidding away at six. Not a bad place to start, but should encourage the rest of you in there. On that good family section, very secure, ultimately private. At six, someone might race to 650, I would have thought. First chance, second call, third call. Look, I could vendor bid. Danny, I won't do that to you. I think you might be my only bidder at this early stage. I'll just offer your people the opportunity outside of the room. So I'll pause that one as well, and we'll move right on. I'll just talk to, uh, talk to the, the bidder.
I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us waiting thank you for being so patient we've got lots of big decisions being made lots of really good negotiations so we're just going to move on with the program uh, welcome to Lisa Tippin here we go Lisa do you want to join me up here and uh, no stranger to these rooms award-winning agent and of course she is representing our clients in the marketplace with 28 Rother Glen Avenue in Islam uh, always a pleasure working Lisa did you want to have a few final words I do uh, first of all I'd like to say thank you to Daryl for trusting your beautiful home to me to sell um, any amount of investment in this home will be well rewarded there are bidders here in the rooms and there are bidders actually on the telephone so I'd like to wish you all the very best for today 
Thank Lovely. You. Thanks, Lisa. So with that, we'll just go straight to the legal description where the property is described as an estate in freehold. Positioned on a 736 square metre parcel of land, more or less, Lot 17 deposited plan 26557, recorded on that certificate of title CB8B1116 in the Canterbury Land Registry. No changes to that, uh, to that list of chattels. A vacant possession being offered, as far as I know, still on the 24th of May 2024, unless, of course, agreed in any other side agreements. And I thought, look, so many people have been through this, this home, and, and I know a lot of people know it in the area. We're going to take a little walk down memory lane. In the late 1850s, the Honourable John Watts Russell, he left his home called Islam Hall in Staffordshire, England. He sailed to New Zealand on the Sir George Seymour, and he settled on a 500-acre block of land in Rickerton. He went on to build Islam Homestead, which was named in memory of his birthplace, and the surrounding suburb became known as Islam. Now we fast forward to today, where on offer is a true Islam gem, and an absolute honest rendition of the 70s, with several modern touches though and updates that have kept the home up to date, yet still retaining some of those 70s characteristics. It's a beautifully balanced home. My favourite room is the lounge with its floor-to-ceiling picture windows. It's got modern glass sliders opening to the outdoors and a floating hearth surrounding that feature fireplace. The suburb is bordered by Rickett and Bush and the Island Stream. It's a strategic location. It's a well-connected suburb with a convenience and accessibility to a major shopping centre, Christchurch Airport, of course, and, uh, and the University of Canterbury. We do, I know, have a lot of conditional interest, Lisa's told me this morning, but today it's all about the buyers and the rooms, and, and I invite you in, the auction is open, who's going to go first and start me off? Auction's open. At 800,000, welcome in there, that's our, one of our business owners. At eight, at 850, thanks so much, at 850,000 lead bid. 850 at 855, moving along in $5,000, sorry, at 900,000, 900,000 here on my left, at 900,000 we have three in the race, at 900, at 905, at 905, 905, with you right down the middle at 905, maybe looking for 950, $950,000 at 950, 950,000 at 955. Thanks so much, sir, at 955,000. Right there with you. I think we just need some instructions, maybe. At 955, lead bit. 970, another $20,000 here on my left at 970. Lisa, we are on the market, folks. You are paying for the keys today. 970, I think, was the yes. final bid with you, Mum. Thanks so much at 970. Who wants to take me to a million dollars? But at the moment, the lead bid out in front, you've nearly got the keys at 970. $970,000. A property that's full of rich history. 970, we're going once at 970. I'll work with your bid. At 975, sir, there, 975 right there, thank you. 975, 980, on my left at $980,000. 980. Maybe looking for a 985? But at the moment here at 980. 980,000, has anyone got 985? Big decisions being made, happy just to give you a little bit of time. Fabulous property in Islam. 980, I'm calling it once at 980. 980. Twice at 980,000. We've been a bit quiet on the telephone, thought there might have been a little bit more bidding there. 980. Nine eight two. Nine eight five. You certainly know how this game works. Straight back like a bullet. Nine eight five. Nine eighty five. This is the time if you're going to make another bid, maybe just show that little bit of muscle and maybe go to nine nine zero. Maybe that million dollars. Lead bid out in front. Nine eight five. 
986. Where did that come from? 990. Ah, at <laughs> 990. Thank you, sir, for that bid, $990,000. It truly is a hop, skip and a jump to the Canterbury University. Not often we can say that, but it really is right across the road. 990, lead bid, out in front. As I said, very much a 70s property. It doesn't have that shared carpet, though, does it? All that psychedelic sort of wallpaper, no. 990. With you, Mum. At $990,000, do we have any other interest? We're going once at 990. Sir, can I invite you back in? Maybe with another one. You're out. I know we've got some bidders over here. 990, we're going twice at $990,000. Bit of conversation going here. Nine nine oh. We are third and final time. Nine hundred ninety thousand. This will be your final opportunity to purchase this very, the superb property in a wonderful location. Nine nine one. At nine nine one. Nine nine five. We're just not letting go here at nine hundred ninety five thousand dollars. Who's going to take me to the million? Nine nine five. Lead bid out in front. Going once at nine nine five. Going twice. As I say, we're all about giving people plenty of opportunity. <coughs> Sorry, third and final time. <laughs> You're in a holding pattern. I know you're there. 995. It really is the third and final time. Any more interest here? Folks, I'm going to count it down one more time. Going once, twice, third and final time. If there's no other interest, we are going. We are selling. We're going at 995. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. Big congratulations to our new purchaser and owner of Rother Glen Avenue. A big congratulations to our to our sellers. Thank you so much, Lisa.
does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Uh, auction activity, that's great. We're still just very, very close to that result there at Harcourt's Vision at Ebony Street. But we move on in our program. I uh, take off the Vision hat, put on the Harcourt's Four Seasons hat. Neil, I always tip my hat to you, of course. But uh, Sam Bowen is the man I'm tipping my hat to as first of two auctions today. You're representing your good client and friend, might I say, at 63 Grampian Street in Casebrook. I had a great inspection of this property, and even with my microscope, I couldn't find a blade of grass out of place. Everything's been done. There's some class and pizzazz about that. Occasionally in real estate, we get a surprise. This position right, right tucked away in that Grampian Street area. What a, what a pocket of Christchurch. Um, a real cracker. So let's have a look at it. It's a freehold estate. It's a sizable 847 squares. Legally described accurately. The double fridge stays with the property. It's a beauty as well. Washing machine and dryer. So they're what, what I would consider bonus chattels and just form part of your purchase price. We're settling on the 22nd of March. If you've arranged a different date and Sam sorted that out for you, hey, that's a, that's a happy day as well. Hey, come and live your best life, I say. Someone's done all that work for you in this great secluded spot with that unimpeded sunshine. When I stood out on that deck looking out, out onto that rural situation, even though you're in the heart of town, hey, that's, it's a very, very special spot, let's face it. The sleeves have been rolled up. What about the beautiful timber floors through the home? The contemporary decor. Kitchen is absolutely scintillating with those clean white lines. Um, through the laundry scullery, scullery area is going to work quite well for you. Uh, look at all those bedrooms. That's fantastic for you. Bathroom's in great condition. Also, good little area out to the rear of the home could uh, provide a bit of fun, extra parking. Great size section, excellent garaging. And those two little spots, Sammy, for that afternoon, afternoon peace and solitude to read a book, well, they are fantastic as well. Need the tools of the trade? OK, Grampian Street, let's get underway. Gosh, you were noisy a second ago. Let's get cracking. Who's here to start away? 
Silence the stern response. Can't sell it to you if you don't fit. Would you start at a six? Can't be fairer than that. Okay, vendor bid at 600,000. There we go. Put mine forward. Prefer to have it from you, but at 600,000, it's an awesome proposition. Summerhill Block, look at the size of that deck. At $600,000, owner won't be letting it go there. Is there 20 on top of that? First call, I'm at six. Seven. Second call, 600. Who said 10? Good on you, Chris. 610. 685, mate. That's more like it, Jared. Puts up the three quarters for me and goes to 685. Jared Rolton Harcourt's at 685. Does that. <laughs> Calm it down. 685. Who goes next? Come on, first call, second call, third call. Do we go to seven? It's 685. Who goes next? 685. I'm not vendor bidding at this level. So if you want to compete, otherwise I'm pausing and talk to, to that guy. 695. There's Leanne Mary. 7.15, puts up a 20 for me at 7.15. Bit of staccato in the bidding here. 7.15. 720. 7.20, who made that bid, sorry? 725. 7.35. 7.35 with Leanne. 7.40. 7.40. Jared Rolton, 45. 7.50, rounds it up to the three quarters at 7.50. 55 was it the end? Yep. Good, good. 755. Who goes next? Plenty of parking. Love that front lawn area for that. 760. Touche. 760, improving the position. It's 760. What do you. Pardon? We're on the market, the end at 760,000. There we go. I can sell 63 Grampian Street. Good news for your better at this stage. 765. 770. Comes back the Marriott. 770. That better will be saying put on the 222 from here at 770. First chance? At 770. Second call. 2000. 772. 775. 775 on the market and selling. 775. Good family area. 775. Give us another two, Jared, and we'll go to the 777. 775. Counting down, you know we're on the market, we sell. Conference is being had. Leanne will be like. Permission to sell to your people or carry on with it? <laughs> 775, once, twice, third. No late, look, you can change your mind if you like, but not after the hammer falls. It's 775, final chance. Congratulations, Louis. Property's going, going, <laughs> gone and sold the end. Well done. <laughs> well bid, good stuff. Sam Bowen's done it from, from his friend. Sam, we'll see you back from Merrillwood, another important auction. Thanks for your bidding, Jared, and you, Mr. Youngman.
Frank Ernest Crescent in this amazing part of Prebleton. It is a superb area, but this, this brand new designer home, and we'll talk about the features of it, you won't find better. It is a gorgeous creation. They've entrusted Steve Allfelt, who is expert in the area and around here. He works from our Hornby office, um, always just using his top three inches of the brain to get things done. Uh, let's go through the, uh, the property, and, and thank you to Phoenix Construction and Management Limited uh, who are our good vendors today. It's a freehold estate. It sits on a nice, even, even round, precise 600 square metres, uh, described accurately in a legal fashion. I love some of the bonus chattels, ducted heat pump and gas fire for the, for the ambient times, uh, wine fridge, and the built-in microwave, which I think are bonus, bonus chattels. 22nd of March, we can have you in there, which is fantastic. Clause 23 says the master build guarantee is available to you. Clause 26, it just goes on and uh, mentions about the contemporaneous settlement um, with, the, with the vendor and the builder, which is not uncommon for a brand spanker like this. Well, I, I think if you enter this house and it doesn't take your breath away, something's got to be wrong, because it certainly did that to me. It's a masterful creation. It's an incredible collaboration between Elevation Architects, Phoenix Construction, and I think which has applied the, the absolute pearling touch is Ruby Design. Great, great, um, right at the peak and leading edge of, of modern house design. Yes, you've got the raking ceilings and such spacious dual living situation with that effortless flow between rooms and through rooms, but also between indoors and out from that main family room, from your, from your separate lounge media room, look at the mood in there, and also from that sumptuous master suite. I think the real touch for me though comes with kitchen, walk-in pantry, scullery, also main bathroom and ensuite. They are absolutely beautiful. I've never seen such fantastic design. 
There's feature, feature design walls throughout. The appointments in the bathrooms are sensational in the kitchen, of course. Great garaging in the home. It's so well balanced. It's poised. You're right at home in Frank Ernest because you're surrounded by quality real estate as well. Just need a bit to start. Let's get cracking. Frank Ernest, an earnest bid would be appreciated. Maybe a Frank one too. Let's see if we can get you moving in. Pretty lovely home. You'd be proud to own it, I'm sure. What's a goodly number? Great entertainer's home. Ambient all year round. The right balance. Easy to look after. Keep it looking superb without any effort whatsoever. Something in the ones, what do we think? I don't mind starting, 1150, 12, what do you think? Is there a bit at that level? Any of those numbers ring out to you? 1-1 one, one even, I'd work with. Good on you. Welcome in, sir, at 1-1. One, one. We're going to have con competition for this, this gentleman. Otherwise, rather than vendor bid against you, sir, we'll see if there's a bid from the floor. Otherwise, I'd pause and talk to you in private, sir. You're smiling. It means you would put a hundy on. No problems. I've got 1.1 million only. The Ruby Design, Elevation Architects. Elevate your spirits living here. Second call at 1-1. One, one. Third call, is there 1-2 or better? No, there isn't. It appears just to be you and us. So why don't we just see if we can get you moving in? Just pause the auction there. Steve, let's, let's take a, a spot outside. I might come back and see if it's Ba 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 
Folks, I'll just bring your attention back uh, with Cheryl Wright working from the Bishopdale office, Harcourt's Vision. Paused at six. Look, we've had a fairly good conversation. I was working with Danny Lou from Harcourt's with his buyer. They've increased to 755000 So So um, it took a wee while, but we got there. The owners, Dave and Rose, have said at $755,000, we, we did get the nod there at the end. Yep, the signature's on the contract. The ink is dry at 755 31 Ebony Street. Proudly marketed by Cheryl Wright is gone and <coughs> sold. So well done to our buyer. Right, we're going to be back from Earlwood in just a jiffy and uh, we'll get you an update on Frank Ernest. Is your head spinning? Is your heart racing? Is the fire in your veins? Are your bones burning? So I'll just give you a bit of an update on 56 Ashworth Bush Road. We went out, as you can see, on a live bid at 1.1, uh, and we've had a negotiation. Our lead bid at the moment is $1,270,000. We're nearly there, but not quite. So I am, unless there is any other interest in the room, any agents on phones, I'm going to call it down at 1270 that we'll be going once, twice, third and final time at $1,270,000. For our viewers, if you have interest over and above that figure, uh, please contact uh, Victoria Thompson uh, as soon as possible. We do have conditional buyers circling, so I'm sure that uh, within the next 48 hours there'll be an excellent result on this property. Thanks so much, everybody, and, uh, and I think Mark will be back in a couple of minutes.
for auction number two, but good on you for saving the best for last. Here we are in, in uh, Prebleton, uh, Three Millwood Road, Selwyn District, of course, right in the heart of, um, of that lovely part of Prebleton. We represent our good, good uh, colleague Natalie and her family, so thanks very much to the Maclean's. And Sammy, another sterling campaign, another great, great video that you did for the property. And um, like, like you, I believe it is uh, the ultimate and sophisticated family living that we offer you today. On that freehold parcel at 636 squares, um, no change to the chattel list. And um, I did have a couple of chattels noted down, actually. Settlement date the 20th of March. Is that the correct date we work to? I believe it is. And so that's the date you move in and start living life. And living life at the highest end. Um, as Sam and I agree, it is, it is the ultimate, and that is the concept from which these good owners designed it. They wanted the, the best possible lifestyle for both uh, adults and kids in the family, and that they achieved. For the adults, they wanted those style features through the home, and you can appreciate the layout of the home, those beautiful oak timber floors, the, the quality appointments in, in kitchen and both bathrooms, with the walk-in pantry scullery as well. The, the double height or the extra height bifold doors that just bring those outdoors in. And that's where the kids' needs came into play too because they wanted to come and go with absolute, uh, without any effort at all and make the most of the shelter privacy but also the sunshine. What about for the kids? The Narnia style loft space. Um, we had to drag Sam out of there playing a slot car set but no, that's been a pillar and uh, been well appreciated by all the kids. Um, through through the, each of the appointments and the combination of the home, the master suite, of course, has just got that little bit of difference. Full seater construction, tucked away down the drive, three car garaging. So for all vehicles and cars, you know that's good. And are the vendor's going to leave those three particular cars in there. I wasn't quite sure, but no, you can park your own in. Let's get underway at Merlewood Road. Time to start the auction and uh, have a little bit of bit of fun. See if we can get you there. Do we have an opening salvo? Couple of phones to the ears, that's normally good. Ella, how are you? Who's gonna start? In the early ones, say one one, don't mind if we start there. You might like to be stronger just strategically. I just make it easier for everybody. Good on you, that's Ursula from uh, from our one of our associates could we say that at one one five oh? One point two one point two, Ella, good on you. A nice, nice, good assertive bid, that's the way to do it. A million two hundred thousand. Just no, I had the 1.2 over here with, with Alan. 1250, yes, and gratefully accepted at 1,250,000. 1250. Oh. It's all the other two bidding at this stage. 1250, another 50 if you like. 1250, oh, look at that layout. Look at the finish and appointment. So I'm taking that's a nod to 1.3. Good on you, Ella Vink. At 1.3 million only. We're doing okay. Who's going to chime in now? At 1,300,000, first call. Second call. It's the extras, the viva la difference that you'll appreciate. Third chance at one... One A little bit of a change of pace, but we'll, we'll work with that. A million three ten. Twenty. Twenty. Oh, see, I thought you'd go straight to the one three fifty. Ali, you had me, had me going down the wrong track there. At one three two zero. Oh. This is your time to chime in at a million three twenty. First call. Second chance. Third call. At a million three twenty only. Bid sits back here in that sunny corner. You'll find a sunny corner here at Millwood. Look, I'm reluctant to take a five, as you know, I'd have to have two of those put together. One three twenty. I'll stick with that bid there at the moment. At one three twenty. And first chance. Second call. Third call. At a million three twenty, I'll pause and negotiate. Is there any better bid? One three two zero. Oh. Looking down the barrel right there. At 1320. 30 or better, Ursula. And a million three twenty deserves it all. That full indoor outdoor living that we all want. Sophistication. No better bid there. Would you like to increase your bid to ten? At one three twenty at this stage. 1320. I thought I was going to have a bid. Would you like to increase your bid to 1330? 1320 only. Okay, I'm going to pause and talk to your buyers. We'll just pause the auction there. You know the auction's live and open, but at 1320, I talk to these people.
show you how it works.
we did make some progress uh, on this particular auction. Uh, not at a satisfactory level to sell. We're, at, we're up to 1275. We're going to go back to the marketplace and seek, seek better than that. So uh, if you'd like to bid on top of that figure, we've got a bid at 1275. Now we're going to continue working with all parties after that. Anyone going to put up their hand for Frank Ernest? Beautiful brand new home in that nice area of, of Prebleton, working with Steve Allfeld, of course. OK, I'll just put it back to, to Steve at that figure. We'll carry on working with all parties. Continue on work and negotiating at uh, Merlewood. And we're going to move on, Jimmy Pattinson. You've got a couple of I's dotted and T's crossed, so we can go to 56 Glenfield Crescent. Jimmy Pattinson, of course, he's the good guy in real estate. Everybody knows him in the Harcourts Network. He's very friendly and he works, works like a demon. But Jimmy, you've got a lovely property, or properties just about, isn't it? There's a lot of aspects to this one. At 56 Glenfield Crescent, Idaho. Uh, on this freehold estate, 630 squares, so good size pitch and uh, legal description unchanged, list of chattels, 
is exact as well. 5th of April is the settlement date. If you're working to an alternative date, that's absolutely fine as well. It's an 18-year tenure that the owner's had in this home, and he has faithfully and meticulously worked away at improving it and enhancing it all through that tenure. Obviously, having the studio put on there is a feature that's noticeable instantly, but I'm sure walking inside like you, like me, would have noticed the changes to the interior and how improved it is. Absolutely contemporary in the decor, work around the kitchen breakfast bar has been superb. Not only double glazing, but installing those lovely big floor to ceiling windows. Three bedroom, two bathroom. Did you fancy the walk through robe into the ensuite hidden away? It's a gorgeous feature of the home. Love the subway tiling in the kitchen as well. The third aspect that I think is impressive is out in the garaging workshop. Um, an engineering man having lived there, it's, a, it's been a superb, superb little place for them. Caleb turned up to buy the neighbours, he couldn't get that one, but he was more than happy to move in here and make his changes here those years ago. So, good opportunity for somebody who's going to start us away here at 56 Glenfield Crease. Where would you start us away? Now, you'd normally leap out of the blocks. Mr. Kickhouse, would you be at five? No, not for you. I was suggesting 500 if you thought that was a good idea, or maybe stronger. Quickly. Vendor bid at 500, okay, you've missed that one. You better take the next one and say 20 for me, but at $500,000, it's a vendor bid. Look at the aspects to this property, the improvements that have been made. First call at a vendor bid at 500, second chance, third call. Not far from a very rural situation, good neighbourhood, good hard-working community here in Glenfield. Third chance on a vendor bid at five. You're going to take that bid near at 520. 525. 525. Okay, I work with you. 525. Is there a bid in, in competition at 525? First chance at that figure. Second call. Third call, I'm going to vendor bid at 5.50, Neil would be my final. I need you to bid in advance of that figure at 5.50 on behalf of the owner. Won't be shifting at that stage. What's your purpose for the office studio? A multiplicity of purposes for you. Lovely big open plan living. You've got the burner as well, you know that? You're 75? Good on your 5.75, near Noyan from Harcourts. At 5.75, no more vendor bids. Once, twice, third. 575, let's pause and chat. Not at a level I can sell, but we'd, we'd love to talk to your people. Let's, let's pop on out. Can we get some too?
Thank you. 
Does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. I'm telling I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out. 
Appreciate that. And also to Jamie and Mary Jane, we're getting, we're getting on with the programme, we're making progress. Sam Bowen at Three Millwood Road in Prebleton, we've been working with our highest bidder, and they, they were working with Ella. We've had an increase in that bid, and as a result of that increase, the vendors have said to me, under clause 2.6, Mark, you return to the rostrum because Three Millwood Road has been withdrawn from the auction room, but very happily and unconditionally gone and sold. So well, well done to all. Good work, Sam. That's excellent. We're going to move on to our next auction. I'm just going to conclude 56 Greenfield Crescent. It's, a, it's imminent.
Just thanks for your patience. You know there's big decisions that are being made uh, and lots of money being spent. So you know we appreciate you with your patience. We do, we do consider that uh, uh, a great thing that you do for us. However, we are moving on to 110 Woodham Road in Linwood. Mike Brown, who is sometimes my fellow auctioneer, but also um, very busy and capable real estate agent, uh, sales consultant. He is the lead marketing consultant here in Linwood. It's a fantastic, a fantastic example of a modernised character home in peak condition. So thank you very much to the Norrises for entrusting Mike and myself with the job. He's had a great campaign over the last three and a half weeks, um, and we, we offer it to you um, to the market with a great deal of pride. It's freehold title at 110 Woodham Road. It's on 461 squares. There isn't any change to the legal description or chattels. And we settle up on the 3rd of May, but we do do that with some flexibility in, in that regard. And if you ever want to visit a home that's going to pull on the heartstrings, I think this was the one for you. It's got a real heart and soul to it, this home. It's in fantastic condition. And um, it's a striking home, I think very stately. And... Uh, it's that nice asphalt apron, garaging at the front, you know it's special. Beautiful hallway, you know that character feature, I think from around 1910 was it, you know, with the, the big high ceiling wide and the, uh, the ornamental archway halfway down. The key to it is it's been modernised in all those expensive and important parts, namely the kitchen open plan area with the living spilling out to the deck. Kitchen breakfast bar is absolutely fantastic, so to have all the mod cons, but it's been done with empathy and with sympathy to the era. Bathroom similar, uh, laundry's tucked away there, three great bedrooms, they're all lovely good size, you can see the character involved there. Um, it's private and secure, you've got that rear of the home, the sun comes around in the afternoon and you'll be basking on the deck with the bifolds open. Uh, no, it's a superior example. Mike, I'm sure you're proud to be uh, marketing it and having, having a boatload of these, but I know you've only got one. So let's start away in the bidding. We're at 110 Woodham Road. Just need an opening bid to start away. Starts haven't been flowing that well today. Oh, I thought 550 might be an easy place to get underway. You'd be there at 550. Good on you, ma'am. 550. Would someone maybe say 600? I don't know. You could go there in 50. Do it economically. It's all in good nick for you here. 550, first chance. Second call, third call. Someone say 580, maybe. Got 550. I'll do a vendor bid at 580, ma'am. Would you say six for me? Just at 580 at this stage on behalf of the owner. 580. Six will be all right. Good on you. Six have got the thumbs up. I won't be vendor bidding against you anymore. At six, is there a bid in competition? Do I hear 620? First call, second, third call. Right, it's a pause situation again. You're happy to be in the sun or would you like to come into the lounge? Either option's there for you. We'll go into the lounge, good as gold. Pause the auction. I'm not going to be too long before we get on to Island Road, so, so stay abreast there and I'll just get an update for you. On.
Ladies and gentlemen, just update, uh, here we are in Maidaho, 56 Glenfield Crescent, Jimmy Pattinson is the man. We've been working with, with that good team of buyers, with me and Noam, you've done, you've done very well. I believe we've reached a happy agreement. What was the amount of the bid that's been accepted? 665,000 Caleb, I'll look your way, that is done and sold. Congratulations Jimmy, 56 Glenfield Crescent, 665,000. Well done to that lovely team of people. Go on and you're moving in, well done.
I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us That hasn't ever. That's that's life. Hey, here we go at uh, 276 Island Road in Kaiapoi, right on that border of Silverstream 2. I get to work with Jenny Lake, which I'm always excited about because she's full of energy and um, has boundless energy, in fact, and always delights her clients. Works well on the buyer's side too. It's a brilliant position here. Um, it's been in, in our vendor's ownership for some time, so. Um, we appreciate the chance to get it. We are selling it as is where is, but it's got a lot of good fundamentals about it too. Being that 500 parcel of a nice, even and precise 500 square metres, uh, the legal description is exact, the list of chattels as well, but we sell those as an, on an as is where is basis too. 27th of March, all by mutual agreement, there's the settlement date, and your, your legal advisor would have just ticked everything off at clause 23, knowing that it is on an as is where is basis. There's a good balance about it. It's got a bit of street appeal too. I like you've you've got your own little uh, lay layway in there on Island Road, isn't it? So it's quite a special little pocket. Very sheltered, extremely sunny. I thought gardens looking nice and established and and uh, extremely well cared for. Excellent garage workshop in on the property, which has been been favoured by current by, by previous residents. Um, inside was a three bedroom converted to that not lovely big master to two bedrooms. Um, excellent living spaces. It's all there for what you want to make of it. Obviously needs a bit of elbow grease. We've got to roll the sleeves up, but hey, the price is going to re reflect that too. Being that close to Silverstream, you've seen what a success that is, and that's given you all those amenities as well, which you're going to appreciate. Let's crank away. You've been patient. Island Road. 276. What are we going to say, Gita? I said, let's start the bidding. Yeah. If you gave us 276,000, I'll get under it. 276, there we go. The eponymous bid, 276,000, that's good. We'll just work in, in increments of, say, 276, and we'll get there in no time. Is there 552 in the room? Hey, I've just been working on that. Let's go again at 276. Someone might say 300 is a, is a more traditional bid, but at 222. Two, 280. Working with Rebecca there, good choice. 280,000. Smaller increment that time, sir. 280. Yeah, 290. Good on you, sir. $290,000. The upside's there for all to see. 300 is a good bit. Puts up 10 for us now at 300. 340 is a nice bit, sir. I have to commend that strategy to it. $340,000 to 350. And staying in there, and of course you would. And the Kaiapoi through there, some would say Silver Stream. Of course, you've absolutely minutes to town. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll leave half an hour. I don't want to be late for Jenny. I was there about quarter two. So it's really close to town. 350 ma'am at the stage, first chance. 360. 360. The full circle bid, we could say there, at 360. 370. 370, nicely done. Composed in your strategy, ma'am. That's quite good at 370. Always keep an eye on Gita there at the end of the room at 370. 380, that's good work too. At 380, see your plan. 385, okay, I'll work with that. At 385, you might like to chime to the same beat, sir. 390 as well. Jenny, what do you think? Would Rhonda say to us? We can sell at that level. 
We're on the market at 390. 395. 395. Good luck, ma'am. This is where we find the winner. And there will be a new winner. 400 is a good bit. I wonder if that psychology is enough. At the top of the gate. 401. 401. 401, we're on the market and selling 276 Island Road. Chances are running out. What would you like to do? Should we give it the old internet era, 404? Second call, 404. Staying in there with just a one. Just those niggly ones. 401. There was this really cool race boat, Kaitashi. It was number 407. I don't suppose you'd bid that. You wouldn't. 405. First chance, this is your last chance. We lost Gita, so ma'am, you're in the box seat here. Second call. Now, changing your mind is a marvellous thing. I've heard that said. Third call, what about a cheeky thousand? Let us know you've done your best. 405, 276 Island Road. I've even heard of bids of half a thousand. I'm, I'm not sure you'd try that one. 405. 4055 with an echo in the room. 405,000. Could have shoulda woulda. One more, one more lunge. One more stretch. 405. No, ma'am, you're the winner. <laughs> Go on and sold. Congratulations. Well done. Good stuff, Jenny. Rhonda, that went well. Good on, good on you. Hey, that's excellent. And good luck with that next move, Rhonda. We're just going to finish up on our property at Woodham Road.
Does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. I'm telling I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Brown, just at, at 110 Woodham Road. We've got that bit up to 625, Mike, but the, we're going to go back to that, to that third stage and, and find something with a bit more than that. It's 625. Hey, look, it's a, just to remind you what it is, it's a beautiful three-bedroom villa. Um, it's been modernised with the open plan, living at the rear. It's extremely sunny. It's got double glazing in the home. 
and our lovely modern kitchen open breakfast bar. There's the deck you can see right there. We're at 625. There's value north of that. So um, MJ and Jamie, thanks very much for the chance to pass it in on a vendor, but at 625, 110 Woodham Road. Mike Brown's the pe person to see. It's been a good day here today. Thanks, Jimmy, for, for your help. And uh, Rachel and Jess, another well-run affair. Catch you next week. Cheerio.